Good. So, hi everyone. My name is Filippo Buzzini from uh, Sketchy Solutions. Uh, and I'm going to show you a few ways, like a few quick ways that you can make titles using different null and markers. Like usually for titles I use, uh, like I take maybe up to an hour before to prepare a title because I think it's a very important part of every recording to have already a centerpiece or something that people can look at. So for the first title I'm going to be using an outliner, big one, and some art markers of different shades and colors like uh, that are of the same spectrum, like from yellow to red, so from the 501, 500, 600, 600, and one, and red 200 to finish. And that first style, I go, I like the big one because it makes bold, bold lines that are a great container. So, and this style is called fiery because it's Uh, it's gonna look like different shades of fire in the colors and to do that okay, I make the first lines with the big black and then I'll start from the darker color to the lighter one to just fill it in with the fill in the letters you can do a diff also you can do any different kind of lettering if you want like that's just one that I, I like doing but there's no rule for that but just I think that with having bold big one marks you can it really makes pop out the makes this really makes pop out the, the lighter color so I think in this way you just do big you just fill it in quickly with big bars if you want from uh, of different colors and yeah um tack and fine so here you got first title done in a couple of minutes fire you can do it with any other combination of colors but I think if uh, if you are in the same spectrum <laughs> you can go pretty well so the next one it's also uh, it's a simple one I'll be doing it on the window so if you can follow me to the window <laughs> make lowercase making sure that there is enough space not to make the lines too close to each other so that I can after I can after circle them with the other color and make it pop out that's a very simple style I think and I'll just go around no that's not <laughs> ah <laughs> Here you go, and a bit of splash around. Just make big, just a simple way, just frame the letters. So that why it was important to keep, like if I would have had, for example, the two bars of the H too close to each other, it wouldn't have been possible to frame it. So. And here you go. So that's another way. And but you were like, okay, yeah, maybe I cannot do a whole graph recording on this black paper. If you can, it's great. But if you don't, there's a another little trick. I just filled a fat one with an outliner, and I'm gonna create well the black paper manually for having a title that pops out so here as well I make some lines to make my title frame 
what is really important with the acrylic is that you well shake them well before use so that you're sure that they're gonna work fine shake the acrylic and make a little dance with it and in the meantime I'm also waiting a little moment that the black dries so and here I'm using three different ones like the orange the green and the purple one to do alternating letters with them and look how it pops out and you can also make it come a little bit out of your frame it looks beautiful on the white as well but i believe that in the that with the uh, with the black it really makes a acrylic color pop out so also if you use the nylon black paper this acrylic allow it to really be a simple and quick style that pops out very much so really and also what's great about uh, about the the outliners is that it has a it has a special ink that dries very quickly so that's what allow me to pass over it really, uh, in a blink of an eye so the last style is a bit more because a bit more in the graffiti direction and is the bit more complicated one I'm I'm gonna combine different type of uh, little tricks that you can use you can like I'm making three or four but you can use the one that you prefer I'll take first uh, 600 orange big one to make two waves two waves and here is really it's good that they're not parallel that they make that you that I keep maybe 30 40 centimeters and if somebody knows how to do what's that in inches uh, feel free but uh, really you have two different regular lines and I'm gonna write now Neuland with a fat one filled with 405 ink that's the neon no green and do big big letters along those lines and I'm gonna have these letters, these letters to touch. And so, and, and it's beautiful like I think don't be afraid of the fat one is beautiful for making really uh, really big title big letters for a title especially if the title maybe of your of your event or workshop is pretty short it works like a charm there you go and now to make it pop out a bit more I'll go with the outliner the run nip I'll go I'll make the form doesn't need to be exact because I can still correct in the end and of course this is like all the other titles is something if you have a bit more time than just 20 minutes for four titles you can be more precise but if you don't that's an easy quick fix so the outline Tuck. then a way of giving some depth I will do now 
I'll take a big one, black, and I'll make and I'll make a little. Uh, I give it a bit of thickness. If I hold it at 45 degrees, it will automatically give you. I just follow the lines. I will automatically be give you the everywhere the the thickness that you want and the angle as you can see here there is it back and this allows you to give kind of a I guess of a street feeling to it. It's a very bright color. Dark. And for the thinner part, like here, you can just turn it around and use the, the thinner part to fill in. And for the little fine tuning and corrections, you can just after do it with the outliner. So am I? So, yep, little correction on the green quickly. Here as well, you can hold the fat one uh, with an angle so that you will have a smaller line and you can be more precise for little correction. And finally, To make it stand out, I'll go like here. We can do something like that with the orange. And what I like to do is also something that comes quite a bit in graffiti style. Like you just do some different bubbles around it of different sizes. And that also gives a, a nice decorative feel here as well you can you can use uh, alternatively the the methods you want you can do the bubbles you can use the fat one you can have the you can have the the, um, the big one to make the to make the shadings like up to you i think here i'm sure i'm trying to show really several different possibility in one in one drawing and then I will just I will just fill it in so I think actually if if there are questions maybe while I finish to fill this in quickly you can start asking questions so that Are there any questions? Hi. Um, when you record on black paper, um, do you use the acrylics only for the titles or also for um, content? Because I find it that it's a little bit slower with acrylics because you have to pump them. So I'm always afraid of using them for graphic recording. So I'd like to know what you do with that. Yes, as an alternative, like the, there is the the white marker for uh, for uh, for recording and also like this is not the acrylics but you can work on black paper I think almost easier than to be faster you can use the metallic ones the metallic ones also work on the black paper and they actually make a very beautiful contrast so and also they don't have 
the if you want the noise uh, inconvenience that, uh, of having to shake them maybe during uh, a keynote a keynote so are there any other questions Yes, go ahead. And so for a four by eight, let's say, and you're using these to make such large letters and fill up so much space, mm -hmm. how long before you have to refill them? Like how quickly do you go through what you're using? For the markers? Because you're putting down a lot of ink. Yeah, I, I use a lot of ink. I think that uh, that's a choice. I refill usually, because I also tend to fill uh, backgrounds uh, of, of graphic recordings in the breaks or at the end. And usually I refill maybe on, on a size like that, I can refill a big one, maybe if it's full, like maybe two other times. But then it also depends because of how much white space there is, but uh, I don't, like even the colors that I'm using the most, I, I can, uh, I, I don't need to buy more than every few months uh, a refill bottle. So I think the black might be the one exception because I'm using a lot of it, but I think you can go a long way with, the, with refilling. Anybody else has a question or something to say? So. Again, this is done, try to do it very quickly, so without, like it's something that maybe would take me half an hour or more just to do this in a more precise way, but just to give an idea of the possibilities of what can be done in a short period of time. Thank you.